Detonate this suicide bomb or be buried alive. That's the choice this 13-year-old girl says she was given after her father handed her over to Boko Haram. I was asked if I wanted to go to heaven. When I answered, they said I have to go on a suicide mission, and if I attempted to run, they would kill me. The girl says she and two other females were sent to this textile market in Kano in mid-December. The others detonated their bombs, killing four people. But the girl says when she saw the carnage, she couldn't flip the switch on the bomb strapped to her. When we came to the Kanu market, one of us said we should go separately, but I refused. After my friend detonated her own explosive vest, I was injured. Boko Haram has been using girls and women as weapons to kill and to incite fear, as it tries to impose an Islamic state in Nigeria. Since June, female suicide bombers have launched five other attacks. Girls continue to be at risk of kidnappings and forced marriage. The boldest example was the kidnapping of 276 girls from a boarding school in April. Although some managed to escape, most of the girls are still being held hostage. Thousands of people in the north, where Boko Haram has a stronghold, have been driven out of their homes. Although they might be safe, the misery persists in displacement camps. I have to sleep in a shack made of nylon bags. We are cold. There is no work. Me and my husband are unemployed. Food is scarce. If it weren't for the charity people, we would starve. From the people who lost homes to the families grieving the loss of those killed or praying for the safe return of loved ones, this holiday season is filled with very little cheer for so many in Nigeria. Natasha Ganem, Al Jazeera.